Wazim Akram has done exactly what Pakistan needed. He's got an early wicket, and that'll really get his team pumped up. And also, it'll help him to forget about that little uh, throat infection he's got. Yes, and uh, his first wicket in the tournament. Oh, another big shout, and he's gone. Rahul Dravid can't believe it. Wazim Akram has set this stadium alight. Well, Wazim Akram surely is a big match up player. Showing his strength there. Bit of movement and Rahul Ravid got plum in front of the stumps. That's a lovely shot from Ganguly. This one will go to the fence. That was beautifully timed by Ganguly. He's very strong to that uh, point area. Got into position quickly. Edged and taken. Well taken at second slip. That was a sharp catch. Jovac to banging it in short. It was fended off by Mohamed Azaruddin. And Azam Mahmood has taken a good catch at second slip. Well, Indian captain nibbling at that. Oh, that was in the air for a while, but it's gone in the gap as well. And look at the outfield. It's a lot, lot quicker than some of the earlier games. That's sped away to the fence. That's a great strike on the up through the covers. Sarah Ganguly, that is a magnificent shot. Just starting to blossom, Ganguly. 37 for three. Oh, beautiful catch. That is a sensational catch. Just when I thought it was going over his head. Azam Mahmood has taken a great catch, the kind of catch that wins finals, and aren't they delighted? Fourth wicket for India, 46. He's got him out. Get that ball carry. That's what Daryl Hare has to decide. He's looking at the square leg empire. He's going to ask the third empire. Good timing. Well, I think that could have been four runs, Ravi. It remains to be seen whether Saeed Anwar was within the boundary when he touched the well, he's just going to prove you wrong. He's down the wicket. And it's very good play. He's going to pick up a couple. And you really do need to use your wickets, uh, use your feet. 76 for five. And he just works it away again behind square. He'll be looking for two here, and he's going to go. He's going to have to hurry. There'll be a big appeal here, and I think they'll call for the third umpire. This is going to be very close indeed. The Pakistanis are absolutely delighted. Lovely feeling from side of Freedy gone well and slow it down he's gone I'm afraid I don't think any words are needed to uh... they want more players like Moin Khan no oh, he should get home there all right oh that's tighter that was dodgy that is dodgy no he didn't expect that didn't I among you he was coasting a bit very very clever feeling there Yusuf Johanna was the fielder. He's in big trouble. Oh, he's just made it, I think. If that had been a direct hit, he was going to go. This is so tight. Did he just get home? Yes, he did, I think. <laughs> Very good thinking from Yusuf Johanna. He spotted that... Uh, Mongia had a long way to go, and this is a very good throw. Not a great take, he didn't keep his eyes on the ball, it still went into the hands though, and that's very close. Well, I think he'll get the benefit there. It's uh, that tight, he might well just get the benefit. Oh, I think he might go there, that's a better angle, isn't it? Oh, that's out from there. Oh, totally different angle, can see the bales go up, and he's short of his ground. Amazing how deceiving that is. Mm, totally different angle has given him out. Well, that was brilliant feeling. It really was. It was the quick thinking to throw to Mongia's end when it looked as if Ganguly was well on going to struggle. Misfielding. I think they'll go three runs. But... for Ganguly. Very good innings. India 104 for seven. Man at 
long off. And Ashad Khan has got the big wicket here. Ganguly just stands in the middle of the pitch. He's very disappointed with himself. He didn't really go hard at that ball at all. I'm not sure whether he was actually just trying to chip it or whether he meant to hit it straighter. Plan, but I found the Indians completely adrift. That's away for four, a very fortunate four, but also helpful. It's 111 for eight. Some getting into the eyes when Kinder goes in that direction. Oh, that's good placement by Kumble. Looks for three here, and he gets it comfortably. He's gone this time. So the third run out of the Indian innings. Ijaz Ahmed is a very, very good fielder. And once again, the Pakistanis have hit the stumps direct. We could see that there was hesitation. He's cleaned him up here. The bales have fallen off. Ajit Agarkar was running for the single. So the Indian innings has come to an end. It equaled their lowest score ever in charge, 125. And it's been a first-class performance by the Pakistan team. Led from the front by the captain Wasim Akram. He's running temperature today, but he struck that off. Picked up a couple of wickets in his very first over. He certainly struck the ball beautifully so far. And he's got a boundary to get off the mark. He's such a sweet timer of the ball, Said Anwar. Has a casual air about his batting. Beautifully hit. Six. No, just bounced inside the uh, boundary board. Lovely clean strike once again from Said Anwar. And for Indian cricket. Nicely into the gap now. With an opportunity to run a few here because the fieldsman dived in attempting to stop it. Robin Singh. Good timing from Afridi. Continuing. And that's picked away on the onside. One bounce over square leg. Well, this is a problem when you bowl at uh, shot playing players like a Freedy. And again, he's hit that over the infield. This won't go all the way. Another couple of runs uh, for Saeed Anwar. He does play that shot well. He's not quite got hold of it. But there's enough bat on it to reach the fence. That's in the air, but in the gap as well. Powerfully struck through the offside by Freedy. He's one of those players, you don't want to miss his batting. Some days it's five minutes. That's up in the air. Prasad coming underneath it, and he takes it. No ball signal by the Empire. So Agarkar taking a chance with that short delivery. But we'll have to wait and see how much he's overstepped, or is that over the shoulder? Well, I'm pretty sure that uh, the batsman knew it was a no ball. By these two openers. That's more runs on the onside. Should get two with Srinath's arm. Down the track, and it's up in the air. Two fielders coming underneath it. It's gone miles up in the air, but very well taken in the end by Ganguly. So Freedy, again, could not control himself. And he's been dismissed once again by Kumble. Well, we were saying if Freedy wouldn't be able to resist, that's the way he plays. Again, that's beautifully played. What a great shot there. The side Anwar with the wrist. He is such a supreme timer of the ball, this man. A light flick of the wrist, and away it went. And more runs here. This will also be for... What a bit of timing that is. He didn't even really appear to hit it, and it just raced away. So Saeed Anwar on fire here. Pakistan racing away from India. He's the batting after that. Out. Gordon Hold. That's the other one again, the googly. Saeed Anwar trying to flick it away on the onside. Got the leading edge. And he's out, so... Anil Kumble, he really has struck twice. He's been, for me, equal to any of the quicks in this tournament. Oh, beautifully played. 
This will be a race to the boundary. I don't think it'll get there. Batsman will be looking for three. This will be interesting. They decide not to go. Inzi, not the quickest between the wickets. The cricket. And there's Inzi. That's a very good looking shot, but well fielded, and he's just thrown it away. <laughs> Ganguly did really well to cut it off, and now he's paid the penalty. He's given away three, unfortunately. He did so well to get there, and then muffed it. Kim Samam. I don't know how loudly he called there, because uh, Ijaz was very slow in starting. And uh, Srinath now has got a complaint against uh, Inzamam. And I think Inzamam saying, well, it wasn't my fault, mate. Well, fair enough, I think it wasn't even uh, Srinath's fault. It's quite well played, actually, by Ijaz. He let that one run away behind point. And then well run. 81 for two. It's well hit, almost caught, but right off the middle of the bat and caught no ball by umpire KT Francis. Very seldom we've seen uh, hook shots in this match, and that was uh, perfectly executed. Long chase for Prasad. A full toss very nicely taken. No ball called by the umpire. Stops almost by itself on the boundary before Prasad can pick it up. That's a goal for easy three. He picked the slower ball and he whacked it. The all power behind that shot. He treated Ajit Agarkar without a disdain uh, playing that shot. Just took it on the full. Saw that uh, slow one very early. Just, uh, have bowled superb spell, superbly for India. That's nicely hit by Nzaman through the gap. A fantastic shot. So much in line and played super in 111 for two. What would be a tremendous win here. And more runs for Ijaz here on the onside. Again, lovely timing. And that's gone all the way. I'm very happy with Seema Kram. Yes, for someone who's been popping pills all night uh, to get his temperature down, he should be very relieved and happy. I'm afraid, Ravi, the Indian team just did not play to any sort of plan after losing those two early wickets. And I get the feeling that uh, with a batsman of the caliber of Sachin Tendulkar, they perhaps would have played it differently because a world-class batsman coming in would have perhaps given them the stability, but they seem to just lose confidence in themselves afterwards. Oh, that's a classic shot. He makes the game look easy when he's in full flow. Beautifully played on the onside. Lovely timing once again. Another boundary for Inzamam. The Pakistan here getting closer. In fact, they've leveled the score. This is a huge win for them and a heavy defeat for the Indians. So one run is what Pakistan required. Bulbasin can afford to smile. He left from the front. That excellent first spell really spun the match in Pakistan's favour. And I think Basim should be the man of the match. No doubt about that. Captain the side well, picked up wickets, and now his team has won the match. Inzamam finishing it off with the boundary. So a comprehensive win for the Pakistan team. And India have faced one of the heaviest defeats ever in Sharjah.